Hey everyone. Okay, so I was looking through my list of possible videos to make and I realised that my list of Disney films that I wanted to talk about was like this long. So I thought I'd better make a start on talking about Disney films because if I don't I'll be here for years. Um, so I'm thinking of doing one a week and this week's choice is Finding Nemo which is not my favourite Disney film but it's very very high up there. Um, and it was released in 2003 and just in case you don't know or to recap it's a story about a father and a son clownfish Marlin and Nemo and Nemo gets captured from the ocean he gets put in a, a fish tank and Marlin has to go all the way across the ocean and try and find his little son and um, that, alone, that alone is an adventure for a tiny little clownfish in a big ocean um, but he goes along with Dory, who's quite a dim fish, who keeps forgetting everything. It's the it's the typical cliched three second fish memory thing. Um, and Dory is a lovely character and together they go along and overcome all these different obstacles to find poor Nemo, who is also trying to get out of this, this um, dentist's fish tank. So both are trying to find each other, but obviously it's very it's a very it's a big problem for both of them. Um, very big ocean for Marlin and Nemo is stuck in a fish tank. So it's kind of a big problem. Um, very adventurous story and it's a very cute story as well. I didn't think I'd sit there like cooing at fish, but I did. Um, Nemo is the most adorable Disney character, or at least one of them, ever. There's a particular scene when he's in the fish tank um, and he's trying to get through the pipe and he gets stuck in the pipe and his little head is just peeking out of the top of the pipe. Oh, that scene melts my heart every time. I love it. It is a very emotional film. Most Disney's are emotional, but I find that I get I, I physically cry at the anim, the um the animal ones because that's just the type of person I am. Whereas the Disney princess ones, I don't really get emotional at. They're just I don't care about them. I don't really like them. But that's another story. But the animal ones and Finding Nemo, I do tend to get upset about because it's it's just natural, you know. They're really sad stories, and they are true to life. Yes, it's about a fish, but there are stories in real life where a father and son have been separated and they want to be reunited. Um. It's quite scary, and not scary as in 18 certificates scary, but scary as in if you put a little kid in front of this, which it is for kids as well, it's a family film, um, there's certain scenes with like the shark and things, which might be a little bit scary for them, um, but not like nightmares, unless they've got a particular phobia of sharks, it's not going to give them nightmares, or it shouldn't. Um, so it's got a really good balance of fear and fluffiness and emotion, it's just all in there and it will give you an emotional roller coaster. Um, you will cry if you um, are like that. You know, if there's any ever an animated film you cry at, Finding Nemo will be one of them. Um, it's very well put together, and I think it's definitely one that I know a lot of people love. Finding Nemo, and especially Nemo, is a great character. There used to be this um, advert on TV, I think it was for nappies or something, and it had something to do with Finding Nemo, and if you peed on the nappies or something, Nemo would appear. I thought that was dead cute. So it's really a, quite an iconic character, you know, that you still get the teddies in the Disney store and things. Um, also the cast, there's only one voice that I know of, and that's the voice of Dory, and um, that's Ellen DeGeneres. Granted, when I first watched this, I didn't know who Ellen was, I didn't know Dory was the voice of Ellen, it, was, it wasn't until... Um, the other day when I was making my notes for this film that I realised it was Ellen and I was like, oh my god. Um, but I find that quite a lot because I've also got a really interesting story about the voice of Oliver too, but that's for another video. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a great Disney film. You can still get the DVD. Um, I don't own the DVD, but I will be going to buy it as soon as I can. I think they still have the two for £15 offer up until Christmas, so I might take advantage of that. But yeah. So um, that's all I wanted to say about this really, it is an absolutely fantastic, fantastic Disney film and as I said, one of my one of my all time favourites, I really do love it. Um, also the Game Boy Advance game for finding the Nemo, 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 um, I absolutely love. I know that's quite random but I do love it, it's so fun. Um, but yeah, so please feel free to leave comments and things and let me know your thoughts. If you have any particular Disney films you'd like me to talk about um, sooner rather than later, Please just feel free to leave requests, whether it's your favourite film or a Disney film you loathe and you want to see if I like it. Um, please let me know and I will see you next time. Bye guys.